we have to use the power of Ash. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Talk here, and welcome back to some more Splatoon Amiibo challenges. Last time we finished up the rest of the challenges for the Inkling Boy, and now we're gonna take on all five of the bosses for the Inkling Boy. And hey look, he's already here. Totally intentional, I know. So yeah, in the first uh, episode of the Inkling Boy challenges, we did half of the normal challenges. Last time we did the other half, and now, like I already said, we're gonna take on the bosses and finish up the Amiibo challenges once and for all. Let's kick it off already. All right, we're gonna take on the Thwomp looking boss, or in this case, the Mighty Octo Stomp, whichever one works for you. I, I personally, doesn't matter. What's up, dude? Are you ready to die for the third time? I guess he is. You can't get me. I wonder if I can just, wait. Oh yeah, one hit. I'll see if I could like cheap out like how I did with the charger, but nah. But that's it still wasn't that bad. Okay, climb. Oh what the heck? Okay, climb. And one hit. Oh, now he's mad, now! Come on, just, just, give, just give him a minute. Now he's mad. Oh, oh, oh my god! I didn't, I, I didn't expect that. Come at me, bro. You won't. You won't. You won't. You won't! Oh, what the heck? Again. We got this. Yeah, we do. The twirly legs. He is dead. Now. Okay, I was a little early, but now he's dead. And let's collect our zapfish. Or fake zapfish. Oh, yeah, we got the samurai helmet. And it's damage up, so that's awesome to me. Alright, time to go on to the next boss. Let's super jump our way there, and we got the dude with the little belly warts, or whatever. I just realized, look at his little legs. He has like tiny little sneakers too. And I guess your hair is made out of seaweed or something. Oh yeah, let's go. I squid my way over there and boom! You don't see me. I'm just squidding my way. Oh yeah. Don't mind me. Just popping some buttons. It's like little pimples that I have to take care of for you. Because you have bad health. Oh my god! Okay, this is taking surprisingly a long time amount of time. Okay, there we go. Why did it take so long to pop that one? Okay, boom! Oh, you think you're mad now? Oh, 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 that dodge though! Oh, oh, yeah, okay, 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 I think this is the last one. Okay, okay, okay! And kill him. Explosion! Right now. And I was a little early again. Zap fish it. Hey, we got the samurai jacket. Time for the third boss. Okay, it's time once again to face off the Sonic spin dashing boss battle. I mean, you can't you can't lie. That's pretty much what he's doing. So I mean, yeah. Actually, I have a question for you guys. So yesterday, I watched the movie Sing for the first time, and so there's this character in the movie Sing. Her name's Ash. And She 
species of porcupine, and it, 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 it made me think, like, if that was actually what Sonic would look like if he was more like an actual hedgehog, because, you know, the closest thing to a hedgehog is, the por is a porcupine, so that's as close as you can get. But my question is, if Sonic did look like, did look more like a realistic hedgehog, would he look like Ash from uh, the movie Sing? Because Ash from Sing is a porcupine, but still has the properties of a human, and Sonic is a hedgehog, but with the properties of a human. So, would that feel what Sonic would look like if he was more realistic, but still being cartoony and human-like? Because I feel like it wouldn't be that much of a difference, because Sonic would kind of have the same look to what Ash has. Okay, well we just got two hits down, and I'm talking about comparing a porcupine in a, a, an animated movie to a hedgehog in a video game, but okay. We're taking them down, no problem! Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I almost got scared there. Oh, hello. And you're dead. Spin dash your way out of here. Oh yeah, I forgot to say it, Zapfish. I don't know what just happened. I like zoned out or something. And we got the samurai shoes. Speaking of which, the Inkling boy as well. When when he spawns back in, he has no shoes. And now it's time for the fourth boss battle, and we'll get the squid racing mini game. Let's go. Just roll into action, and let's go fight the boss. The first cutscene. If it'll trigger. Okay, it triggered. And it's once again time to face off against the Chomper Dude. This won't be so bad, right? Oh, 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 oh! Oh! I told you it wasn't gonna be so bad! And now just one hit? Yeah! Oh yeah, I can just like roll his teeth down. And then just break it, and then, and then bomb it. Oh my god, that combo already. And then just one hit. Oh my, oh wait. Yes! Oh, and now you got the gold play teeth, or the yellow teeth, because you got bad health. Just like the dude with the pimples on his chest. Oh, 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 what, oh, what, oh, what, what? Apparently I didn't have enough time for that one. I died? Just look at just look at that dude. He's looking at me. He's just waiting for me. Oh yeah, and now you notice me. Oh yeah, now that's what I should have done the first time. And get ya. Oh yeah. Explode from the inside out. And boom. And acquire this fake sapfish. And now we got the squid racing mini game. And now, for the final mission, we will be DJ Octavio with the roller. Oh hey, look, it's the great Zapfish, the Kentropy as ever. Help DJ Octavio escape while I was eating my Krabby Cakes! Oh. Oh, okay, I, I think I'm just gonna skip that. Alright, let's see how good we do against DJ Octavio with the roller. Oh yeah, get owned. This might not be so bad, but still might put up a good challenge. So let's do this. We have to use the power of Ash. It's all came down to this. This is the final mission that we have to do. You got nothing on me, G DJ Octavio. You got nothing on me. I see the missile, and now I hit it back to you. Mm. Oh, you hit it back to me? Well, I think I'm gonna hit it back to you again. And a boom, shaka laka. Oh, I can just leave my roller on the fan and I'll do it. Oh, hello. Get home. I believe there's armor in here? Yes, there is. Nah, I didn't even pick it up, but now I did. Oh yeah! And fan our way over to the other side.
Come on, shoot, shoot your arms at me. I dare you. You won't. You won't. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh yeah. Come on, send me another missile. I dare you. Peep this. How about you peep this? Oh yeah. You can't handle my spicy wasabi beats. You're right, I don't really like wasabi. Oh, what was that? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know what's happening. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, 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 I, I, I'm alive? How did I survive that? Okay, we're making our way. Not downtown, but more like uptown. Oh, you trying to curve it? No way. Oh, no way. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 what was happening? Oh, oh, what, what was that? What was that? Oh, I, I dodged it though. Get rid of my armor, okay. Boom, gotcha. And now, invisibly make my way down, geyser me upwards, and other references to Splatoon stuff, whatever. Oh, hello, Octoball. You're dead now. Oh, oh, yeah! Oh, there's one more after this. So this is the second to last phase. Okay. Okay. Okay! Oh, great! Okay, okay. Okay, uh, oh, oh, I pressed wrong button. Whoops. And now we have the squid sister music. The final checkpoint of it all. Haven't died once. Oh, yeah. Take those two punches to the face. Hello. Bubbler. Thank you. Oh my god, bubbler, 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 bubbler. Oh yeah, advance. Oh, come on. No, I was there. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm about to fall off. Send it, send it, oh yes. Oh yeah. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh yeah, mega explosion. 
Oh my god, I'm about to fall off right there. Oh my god. Oh, and finally, Zapfish acquired. And we get the blue, blue um, I was about to say blueprints, blueprints for the roller weapon that we were using. Anyway guys, that's going to be all for this episode on Splatoon Amiibo Challenges and the finale for Splatoon Amiibo Challenges. I have one more Splatoon video planned out in mind that I'm going to upload soon, but I really wanted to get these uh, last few Splatoon videos uh, like uploaded quickly because I want to start two new Let's Plays uh, that I want to start a month ago. And they're all both gonna be really essential and what I really want to start already. But uh, after this last Splatoon video that I'm gonna upload after this one, we're gonna take a break from Splatoon for a little while. It's probably gonna be quicker than you think. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.